Greetings and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching my videos. This is Mike and I'm back with another video. Um, wanted to show off some recent uh, pickups and a small part of my NYX collection right here. Um, the, the recent pickups I got would have made like a two minute video. So I figured that I'd show off some of the NYX cards that I have that are right um, near me. I have more NYX cards than this. It's in a box. And I wasn't in the mood to really dig it out tonight, so I just got a couple of the cards that I had that I was um, looking for another box for because the next box that I had was kind of uh, filled, so I hadn't had a chance to put these away. Um, so I just thought I would just share them with you guys to make the video a little bit longer. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. I uh, picked up this uh, Derek Jeter Tops Chrome Power Players uh, insert card uh, from eBay. Real nice addition to the Jeter collection. For my Reggie Jackson PC, I picked up this 1987 co Topps coin. I know I have a Mattingly coin of, that, of this one somewhere around. I just can't find it, but hopefully I can dig it out and put it in with the Mattingly binder. I'm going to put this in, hopefully, see if it fits in the Reggie binder. And speaking of Donnie Baseball, got a couple of Donnie Baseball cards here. Uh, this Rite Aid Team MVPs Topps card. This Gypsy Queen Mattingly card. This Don Russ Mattingly. Diamond Kings Mattingly. This tops insert from last year with uh, Tex and uh, Mattingly. I already have one of these in the Tex binder, so I needed one for the Mattingly binder. Gypsy Queen tobacco card. Or actually, no, it's Allen and Ginter. I'm sorry. Upper Deck Anniversary, Don Mattingly. Ma uh, Major League Profiles, Mattingly. It's upper Deck SP. Another S this one's SP Authentic, Mattingly. Sweet Spot, Mattingly. This is a Gaudi Mattingly. Yep. It's a red back. And Big League Don Mattingly. So those are the uh, recent pickups that I got. <coughs> now on to the Nyx uh, PC. This is, a, again, a small part of what I have. I have more Nyx stuff. And the Knicks have actually been my favorite, one of my favorite basketball teams. Actually, my favorite basketball team since about the 82-83 season, maybe even earlier. And the funny thing is, I only got into basketball because my teacher back then when I was in school, she had um, bought me a pack of car, a bunch of cards. Because uh, I guess, I don't remember why. I think it's, I'd like to think it's because I was a good boy. But um, she had just bought me like some wax packs of some tops baseball and she had actually, actually I think it might have been an accident but she had bought me two packs of tops basketball and I remember pulling a uh, Michael Ray Richardson card and someone else I can't remember but for some reason the Richardson stuck with me and seeing that it was New York I just threw my allegiance to the Knicks and have been a loyal follower as painful as that has been in recent years of this basketball franchise. But I just love the Knicks and I will never stop rooting for them no matter how bad they get or how messy things get in the garden. So anyway, let's start showing off this goods. Got this patch card, a three color patch, orange, white, and red. I'm sorry, orange, white, and blue. This side believe is limited yep it's limited 2011 12 of David Lee I was actually a huge fan of this guy I had a small PC of him going for a little bit here's one of Marbury and Sheldon Richardson a oh, Quentin Richardson I'm sorry this one's numbered to 25 and the back actually that was the back this is the front of Fry Robertson and David Lee. It's an autograph of Tony Douglas. A Patrick Ewing uh, white jer uniform, jersey uniform swatch. Of, he's the Nick that I PC is Patrick Ewing. Um, 
It's small. I don't got a lot of game used stuff of him. I have no autographs of Ewing because he's very expensive. I do have a binder with maybe about a couple hundred cards, maybe if if even a couple hundred cards in it. Maybe once I get up to 200, I'll show off the binder if you guys are interested. Uh, this one is uh, Jerry Lucas from Prism. Beautiful card. I love this card. I've been waiting for an affordable Jerry Lucas card for years. His, his autograph was about like 30 bucks. I managed to get this for about 10. The Crown Royal card of Jose Calderon. Here's an auto, here's an auto I believe this is Prism. Yep. Of Andrea Barnini. One of the worst trades the Knicks made in recent memory. Here's one of Raymond Felton. Never really big into Felton. Numbered of 98. He would go on spurts where he would look decent. And then go on longer spurts where he would just be terrible. Here's what tops off all-time fan favorites. Autograph of Dick McGuire. One of the early Nick superstars from the uh, 50s. He is in the Basketball Hall of Fame. No longer with us, unfortunately. Um, one of Ka of Jazzy Cassie Russell. He was probably and if you I I don't I I wasn't I didn't want watch the Knicks obviously in the sixties, um, but people who I've spoken to always thought that Cassie should have been the starter over uh, Bill Bradley. You know, Bill Bradley is a Hall of Famer. Um, who knows if Cass may have started? Maybe he would have been a Hall of Famer, but he provided instant energy off the bench when he did play. I think he was part of the famed Minutemen group that backed up that was the Knicks backups during the championship run. Now this one is of Iman Shumpert from Limited. Unfortunately if you can see here this autograph looks like it's fading. And that sucks because this autograph's never this card's never in direct sunlight so there's no reason why it should be fading. But it looks like I'm gonna have to be in the market for another Iman Shumpert. And here's a Danilo Gallinari swatch. I'm trying to figure out what the swatch is from because the Knicks don't wear black. It doesn't say in the back of what it could be. Uh, you know what? This is probably from the rookie challenge in the All-Star game. That's probably what the jersey's from. Here's a manufactured patch autograph from Timothy Mozgov. He was playing well when he was with the Knicks. He was part of that trade that brought Melo to us. And here's one of the, one of the first players I remember rooting for as a Nick fan, Bill Cartwright. He went on to win championships with the Bulls, but he was a Knicks center for a while. Love that swatch. It might act, this might actually be a, a Bull swatch. It's red, not orange. That's number to 25. But it's a Bill Cartwright Auto, and I've been wanting a Bill Cartwright Auto in my collection for a while. There's another David Lee. It's game use uh, jersey autograph card from Limited. Is it numbered? Uh, number two. Number two. Number two, 10. There we go. Come uh, another card, another card from one of the Nick Championship uh, team players. He was a part, I believe, of the seventy two seventy three team. Uh, Dean Memminger. Um, he actually uh, hit a shot against Boston in the playoffs that year that actually helped the Knicks move on to the finals. It's one of Kiki Vandeweghe, who played for the Knicks for a couple of years. His father, Ernie Vandeweghe, played for the early Knicks. I think he might have actually been on the first Knicks team. Don't know. I could be wrong about that. One of Steve Novak, an autograph from uh, Elite. Discount double check. He would always uh, do that every time he hit a three point. John Starks, one of my favorite all time Knicks players. I uh, wish he would have hit a, been able to hit the shot, hit a couple of shots in Game Seven of the nineteen ninety four. NBA Finals, maybe the Knicks would have been a champ, would have been champions. Dual autograph of Bobby Jackson and Chris Duhon. Uh, never was a Chris Duhon fan. Never understood why the Knicks got him. 
I need another Chris Duan autograph. I like this card actually. It's very nice from Skybox. Jordan Hill game use jersey card from Limited. Number to 99. Here's one of the Knicks, guy ne Knicks never should have gotten rid of was Tyson Chandler. Game used jersey autograph card um, from Court Kings. He's actually doing pretty well with uh, Dallas now. Maybe he just wasn't cut out for New York, but I liked him when he was here. Knicks never should have gotten rid of him. Finally, here's an autograph card from NBA Hoops of uh, Mike Bibby. So. That's the cards for now. I'm so hopefully I'll dig out the rest of them and give uh, show you another video of my next PC. Thanks guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button if you like this um, uh, video. Um, if you haven't, let me. If you haven't uh, po uh, left your pay. Um, uh, your page on my uh, on the comments below. I love watching videos of other collections, you know, and some of them, my favorite guys like you know i love watching ricky rubio break open cards um uh mikey o um uh nate um and titanic taters eric from uh baseball card junkies guys like that i love watching their videos so if you guys got a video um and you uh well, you know want me to watch i'd be more than happy to watch it and you know always comment um there's other guys i watch i just um can't think off the top of my head right now i'll probably just like give a formal shout out video at some point soon uh, just so you guys know i do watch your videos so anyway guys take care of yourselves have a great night thanks for watching bye